When I met Dr. Raphael at the American Institute of Plastic Surgery, first of all, they have a new office and I was very impressed. It was beautiful. It makes you feel very relaxed. It's a very nice group of people. They're personable. They know you by your name. They're a great group of people. Hi, how are you? I'm great, how are you today? Good. And which doctor are you here to see? Um, Dr. Peter Raphael. Very good. I set up a consultation with Dr. Raphael because I wanted to know my options in regards to making myself look a little bit more youthful. I've known Dr. Raphael for over 15 years. I trust him. I've done research on plastic surgeons in the Dallas area. He is excellent. He really cares about his patients and he'll listen to exactly what you want and give his advice and opinions as well and then I'll go from there. Hello, hey. how are you? It's really good to good. see you. How have How you, you been? been? Oh, I'm doing so good. We talked about my face as a whole and what I wanted to accomplish with the surgery. My job here is to try and really get an understanding of what your goals are. You know, kind of like when you look in the mirror, what is it that you see that you say this, you know what I mean? Right. This is not just what I remember. Mm -hmm. And let's see if we can come up with sort of a reasonable game plan to fix a few things. I was very open to what he had to say and gave him my feedback and we made a plan together that would make me very happy and I'm really excited about it. If you'll bear with me, if you'll sort of look in the mirror and let's sort of start at the top. So we pretty much took a mirror and started uh, looking at my face top to bottom and he wanted to know my concerns and I told him about uh, my eyelids and how they droop and how they've changed a lot in the past two and a half to three years. My eyelids are getting really mm -hmm. droopy. Right. And then when I smile, I get a lot of mm -hmm. pretty, especially this side, mm -hmm. deep wrinkles. Mm -hmm. And uh, these lines around the mouth mm -hmm. and just, just look tired. So one of the things that we do as part of our rejuvenative process is we address the brow. One thing I like about Dr. Raphael is that he's very honest. When you go into his office and you do a consultation with him, he will tell you exactly what he thinks. See how nice that looks when yes, we position it? And then we'll use special um, sutures to, to hold that in place. And we talked about my uh, lower, lower lids and we talked about uh, right underneath my eyes where you get the fatty pockets. So here what you've got is the little pockets that are forming and what we'll do is we'll make a little tiny incision here and then the rest will be inside underneath the lid so you won't see that and then we'll remove a little bit of that and that will allow us to just snug that up a little bit. We discussed my nose, uh, the tip, uh, bringing that up a little bit and shortening that. We'll bring that up just a hair, soften the tip, soften this top part of the nose and really keep your nose basically conceptually the same but just fine-tune it a little bit. Okay. We discussed my skin and maybe resurfacing that with a laser and just giving me more of a youthful look all around. Well as we age as you can imagine our skin starts to thin and we start complaining you mentioned about little lines and so forth and it might be nice to sort of finish off the look with a little bit of laser resurfacing. We wrapped up our consultation and I scheduled my surgery for November 2nd. I'm very excited to have the surgery and see the results. All right. Any questions? No, I don't have any. Well, it's very exciting. We'll look forward to taking care of you. All right. All right. Thank and you. I'll see you uh, at pre -op. Okay. All right. Thanks, thank you. Dr. Bye bye. Rafael. You're welcome. It's great seeing you. You too. Take care. Bye bye. We'll bye. see you later.